recognized for 90 seconds. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I rise in support of this amendment, which really is a life or death question before the chamber. On February 7, 2010, a bunch of workers who were at a natural gas plant construction site uh, early in the morning lost their lives in a horrific explosion because there was a natural gas blow where they intentionally put natural gas through the pipe that was being installed as a way of cleaning it. This is a practice which the pipe suppliers, Siemens, GE, and others have issued serious warnings is an unsafe practice. Unfortunately, it wasn't followed that day, so six men lost their lives. One of them, Ronnie Crabb, was a dear friend of mine. And uh, it never should have happened because, again, in the private sector, the workplace standard was there, but there was no workplace standard in OSHA, which is now, again, trapped in the Chemical Safety Board and the regulatory uh, process. This uh, uh, bill is just going to do nothing but, again, add additional obstacles so that preventive measures that OSHA is really about, it's about compliance, not retribution. There was a $16 million fine imposed after the fact. The company, the contractor, went out of business and paid just a fraction of it. That's not the way to protect workers' lives. Let's allow a healthy regulatory process with private sector input so that people like Ronnie Crabb won't lose their lives in the future. And again, I strongly support the Scott Amendment and yield back my time.